access to the waterfront. We're gonna go to Depot Place where there's just police cars parked on half of the bridge where we would like to have a bicycle and pedestrian separated path. It's so important. Um, we got so many more bikes on the road and everywhere. It's for everybody to sign that came out to support us for the walk and the ride. You know, as Bronxites, we're always left behind when it comes to infrastructure, when it comes to good things that make us happy and live dignified lives. And I feel like having access to the Greenway and the water is a great thing. Riding a bike is a fun way to exercise without having to think. It's just a way to stay healthy and it gets us all together like you can see today. This Council of Environmental Quality was the planner and convener for a grand vision called the Harlem River Greenway. And it was to stitch together waterfront parcels from Van Cortlandt Park all the way to the South Bronx. So the pieces are coming together. The State Department of Transportation, though, modified their highway plan along the parkway, the Major Deegan Expressway, to restrict pedestrian and bicycle access. But I want you to look at this, because I was part of this program almost 15, 17 years ago. And uh, as a member who lives in this district here, almost 30 years, this is a shame. The biggest obstacle is the police cars that are blocking the sidewalk. They don't give us enough access for bikers and pedestrians. If you look up this way where the sidewalk is, that's wide enough for bicycles, it's where the police park. And the current plan actually calls for this sidewalk to be shrunk down to a five foot sidewalk as narrow as this for bicycles and pedestrians to use on both sides. And they're removing that southern sidewalk to give it over to parking for 16 police vans. Well, these are the sidewalks people need uh, to get to the waterfront and they're totally blocked. It looks like a police parking lot or a construction zone, and it doesn't look welcoming or friendly to a park. And we have a whole neighborhood of people here that should be using the waterfront to enjoy it. We are here to ask the DOT and ask the community and our elected officials to increase access, not restrict. Because a greenway can't be a greenway without upland access and community people actually able to get there. We all are in this together to make our neighborhood a better neighborhood. Uh, we have been fighting all our life for that. And I think this is one of the examples where we can show the, the people everything about Bronx is not just negative. We do a lot of you know, biking along the Bronx River and you know, we are very interested to discover the northern part that we don't have much access to. Um, so it's really out of curiosity and also to advocate for you know, more green space along the river. It's something that is good for mental health, for emotional well-being, it lifts up your mood. So this is you know, long overdue and I'm really happy that this movement is going forward and that all of the young people are here advocating and fighting for the changes that they'd like to see at the street level.